Hello everyone, good morning. Hope you are well and have an amazing day. It's Friday, September 3rd, 2021. It's around 10 a.m. and the temperature is 26 degrees centigrade here in Yangon, Myanmar. This is Thanlin Township of Yangon. Now I'm going to visit an ancient Portuguese church which is located in this township. Let's go. It has been raining since early morning and the sky is still cloudy here in Yangon. A good number of vehicles are moving around this township. It is approximately 13 km far from downtown Yangon. You can come here by bus number 31 from downtown Yangon. The bus fare is 300 Myanmar Chia. Beautiful greenery beside the road. We have crossed the entrance gate of the church road. It seems we are crossing the forest. The road is not good, it requires maintenance. Beautiful green trees surrounded on both sides of the road. It brings peacefulness in the mind. Cool air is blowing in the surface. It's a very bad situation of the road indeed. We have reached at our destination. This is the ancient Portuguese church. The name of this church is Immaculate Conception Church. This is a 18th century old Portuguese church ruins that was destroyed by the Burmese king after they recaptured Thanlin. The walls were covered with creepers, wheat and mold. There was a tomb inside the surrounding walls. Overall the church is not well kept although the walls seems to be in good shape. Its red brick walls represent the earlier stage of European arrivals to Myanmar. Today the church is referred as an ancient Portuguese church due to earlier arrival of Portuguese in Myanmar. The Portuguese came early to Myanmar making a series of trade agreements in the 1500s. Many entered military service with the kingdoms that then ruled the country. 
One of these soldiers was Filippi di Brito Inicuti, who served the Rakhine king Min Rajaji. Brito was rewarded for his service with control of Thanlin. He secured permission to build a modest custom house and instead began work on a mighty fortress from which he imagined conquering all of Pegu for the Portuguese. Brito played the game of thrones while at first making alliances and the occasional strategic betrayal. For a time his success was such that his mon subjects crowned him king of Pegu. Some stories of Brito's exploits seem straight out of an adventure story. It's possible they have become a little exaggerated over time. For example, in 1607, Brito was in direct conflict with the Rakhine king and faced a dual assault from Rakhine and Tangu forces even as food stores in Syriam were running low. Never without a plan, he threw a generous feast for his men, making sure that prisoners saw the excess of food. He then sent them back to their king with a letter of offering supplies as they had heard that the Rakhine troops were hungry and he wanted to ensure that the women in the king's camp would be very fat and beautiful when he captured them. This so intimidated the Tangu forces that they suspected the Rakhine forces would not fight and so rather than be left fighting alone, turned around and headed home themselves. The Portuguese overwhelmed the depleted Rakhine army and Min Rajaji was forced to retreat. The surviving Europeans were marched north as prisoners. When a new king took the throne of Abha, they were given land and wives and served in his army, usually operating cannons. It was descendants of this Portuguese known as the Bayenji that faithfully defended the final king of Burma from the British invention in 1885. Today traces of Caucasian facial features can still be found in some villages in central Myanmar as can the practice of Catholicism. The St. James Church within the fortress was destroyed during the conquest of 1613 and no trace of it has ever been found. Indeed, there is little physical evidence of this period of Siram's history with the exception of the genetic and cultural legacy found in the Bayanji. This church was actually built in 1750 over 100 years after the end of Brito's rule and the destruction of the St. James Church. It was commissioned by Paolo Nerini, an Italian missionary from the Barnabite order and funded by an Armenian, Nicoli di Oglar. The church only survived six years before being destroyed by another king of Ava, Olongpaya. Like their church, the missionaries often didn't last very long. Nerini came to Burma in a group of five Barnabites, three of whom were killed by suspicious locals in the first two years. For replacements were sent from Italy on two ships, both of which sunk on the way. Nerini's final companion was killed by a cannonball during Olongpa's attack, and Nerini was beheaded after it. Now, under the control of the Government Department of Archaeology, the church has been cleared of overgrowth but is otherwise largely unchanged from the original photograph in 1892. Looked after by a very pleasant groundskeeper, it receives occasional groups of curious visitors.
Inside the small shed in the center of the church is a gravestone which is also sometimes mistakenly said to be that of Brito or one of his companions. It belongs to Maria Diaz who died in 1732 long after Brito but before the construction of the church. This stone was actually found elsewhere in Thanlin by the British and moved here in the late 1800s. Above this stone is a Latin inscription regarding Niccoli di Oglar who funded the church. Though their placement makes it look as if they are part of a single tomb, the two are entirely unrelated. Thanlin never recovered its importance after Olongpai's conquest. He had founded nearby Yangon just one year prior and soon this became the most important city in the region. Yangon's dominance continued under the British though they based their main oil refinery in Thanlin. This was a target for Japanese bombing and was destroyed in the war. It was later rebuilt but is no longer operational. Bainji people also known as luso Burmese, are a subgroup ethnicity of luso asians and are the descendants of Portuguese mercenaries or adventurers who came to Burma in the 16th and 17th centuries. They were recruited into the Royal Burmese Armed Forces, Artillery and Musketers Corps and over centuries of continued settlement in the Mu Valley, particularly the Saging region of Myanmar have been more or less assimilated into the dominant ethnic group of the region, the Bamar, while keeping their sense of Portuguese identity and Roman Catholic religion. The descendants of the Portuguese were once commonly known because of their Caucasian features as Bayanji but the everyday usage of the term along with the Bayanji's European appearance has almost disappeared due to assimilation with the Bamar. The term Bayanji is derived from the Arabic expression Firingi or Frank used to generally describe any Western European with the word mainly being used by Middle Eastern Muslims to describe the Christian invaders from Europe during the Crusades.
Let's ride on the motorbike and go back. Wonderful houses beside the road.
that's it from today's video hope you have enjoyed this update thanks for watching and see you in my next video